Hello everyone and welcome back to World War II Solitaire board game channel. We are gonna play another game of this great little postcard game called Rattenkrieg Assault on the Tractor Factory. First of all, I want to clarify something, and that is that while I got this game from uh, Against the Odds magazine from another order, it's not released by LPS, which also do Against the Odds magazine. It's released by their sister company, Turnpoint Simulation. You can get this game uh, as a free game with any other purchase on their website. So there is a link in the description, uh, Turning Point Simulation. The other clarification I want to do is uh, I want to give a big thank you to Dog UI Preacher who pointed out that I actually managed to do a mistake in this game. And it's a little bit fun because this is a very easy game. With, I mean, it's a very simple game with very easy rules, but I still managed to do a mistake. And ironically, I pointed out that I think the game is too easy, but the mistake I did made the game easier because there, the mistake I did was that when you fight a Soviet counter with your German counters, uh, I only did damage to my troops if the Soviet counter won. But according to the rules, you will actually do damage to your uh, German counters either way, even if you win. That way you kind of have to, you know, win the game fast or you're going to be in trouble. So uh, I thought I would do a, a new game, a new playthrough with uh, the rules correctly done this time. I've also updated uh, my old videos with uh, uh, Dog UI's Preacher's uh, clarification in the description of the video. And again, thank you very much uh, Preacher, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, and let's get going now. Uh, I think I'm gonna do like I always do, I'm gonna go ahead and put my tanks down here. And I'm gonna have a unit over here with an infantry squad. And yeah, then I'm just gonna divide my um, generals together with my um, two infantry squads and grenadiers. And we're gonna go ahead and place out some random Soviet counters on the red shields. And then we're gonna go ahead and roll for Soviet infiltration. And we roll six. So one of the counters are gonna go over here. All right, so we're gonna head straight for battle and we are gonna try to blitzkrieg these guys uh, since we now have, uh, you know, a time frame. So let's start with our tanks and we roll, uh, we get a sniper. So our tanks are good, no damage to them. And then we have a group here, and it's an ambush counter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a damage to my infantry. Uh, the, the tank, which I will pronounce in English instead, uh, is a T-34 tank. I don't want that YouTube uh, subtitle thing to happen again. Has one star, and the shield has one star, so the Soviets have two stars. However, I have three crosses, so I'm gonna roll two dice, and they are just gonna roll one. And I roll a 6, so I managed to take out that T-34. Um, uh, my general is promoted, however I still have to do one damage, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my grenadiers. And that's the mistake I did last games, were that even if I won, I didn't do any damage, but again, even if you win, you have to do damage to your uh, troops. Okay, so we have one more fight here to resolve, and again, it's an ambush. I'm gonna give that to my uh, my infantry, and let's see. They have only one star. I have three crosses, so again, I have the advantage. I'm gonna roll one more dice than they they are, and let's see. That didn't do anything because I still took damage, and I'm giving that to my grenadiers, and my general, however, is promoted. So. The Soviet counter stays uh, on the board. And I should have moved these guys. I don't know why I didn't do that. That was stupid. Okay, I'm rolling for Soviet infiltration. 
and we get six again and six is already occupied so we don't have to put out any more soviet counters uh, german movement i'm gonna go ahead and move my tanks over here and then my uh, infantry over here i'm um, moving half track over there and this guy over here trying to cover the soviet infiltration for the next step and let's start with combat over here again we have the advantage they have one star i have three crosses so i've taken that guy out but again i still have to do damage i'm gonna remove uh, this infantry counter so uh, then we have a battle here uh, and it's an ambush meaning we have to do one damage so again one infantry counter is gone uh, we have three uh, crosses and they have three stars so we will um, we will roll two dice for each fact faction Whew, and the soviets win so that means my Grand years are out of the game and my general is pushed back Then we have another fight going on over here And again, there is a star. It's a pepper Shah infantry with one star. There is three stars to the shield So we're gonna roll two dice for each uh, faction And it's unfortunately a tie and I, uh, Soviets will always win ties if unless there's a general so uh, not uh, not a good roll. Uh, end of the turn. We roll for Soviet infiltration. We roll a free. Uh, luckily, we are occupying that area. So I'm gonna go ahead now and move in. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna move. I'm moving this guy over here, and then I'm gonna head over there with him. And the general. And this guy is moving there and they stay and then I'm attacking again the pepper shot with my tanks I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, airstrike because this time the Soviet guy has the advantage I have three crosses the Soviets have four stars so they are gonna have two dice and I will have one but with the airstrike I, I have two as well uh, okay they still managed to get me Unfortunately, I'm gonna do the damage to my tank Okay, we have the next turn. We're gonna roll for Soviet infiltration and we roll a four Okay, let's see what we want to do this time. We want to move in here And let's see I kind of want to Get my general over here to aid these guys, but well Okay, I'm going in here instead. I'm taking a risk and these guys are still gonna keep fighting with the Soviet over here Okay, so let's just reveal this one. Oh, fortunately, it's not um, uh, It's not a sniper. We would use an airstrike because the Soviets have the advantage. They have one plus two stars three stars I only have two crosses. So with the airstrike we have one dice each and I managed to take this guy out and then we go to our uh, tanks. They are also uh, under attack heavily from four stars with their two crosses. I'm going to use an airstrike again. Oof. Unfortunately, it's a tie. That means I lose. One of my guys are taken out. Then we have a fight over here with we have four crosses and the enemy have three stars. So I have the advantage. Ah oh, man, that's very bad. I take damage. Also here I forgot to do damage. Because remember, you still have to take damage even if you win. So this half track uh, takes one damage. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six counters out. The enemy has three. If I ever get less counters than the enemy, I will lose. Next turn, let's roll for Soviet infiltration. Number three again, and ooh, that's gonna go back here. That's not good for me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and move these guys in here to fight this guy. I'm gonna use my last airstrike because even with these guys, the Soviet has the advantage. 
I'm gonna get two dice per uh, side and hope for the best and the best wasn't good enough I lost my half track this is turning ugly guys then we have these guys they do have the advantage with their four uh, crosses versus their three stars so hopefully we will have a victory there oh man one one and three nope no victory now we are down to one two three four counters and the enemy also has four counters so now in the soviet infiltration if uh, the enemy managed to uh, place a counter out that means i've lost and we have seven let's see is seven occupied yeah seven is in the middle so uh lucky me okay we're gonna go again this is getting tight we start with this area and now we have three crosses just like the enemy so that means uh, we are gonna take um we're gonna roll as many uh, dice as them and they would roll as many as us there's no advantage to either side Ooh, that's a tie but i have a general i win however like the rules state we will deplete the unit even if we win so i lose one counter and now we're at let's see three versus three so i need to win this battle as well or i have lost and the enemy has the advantage because i have two crosses the enemy has four stars so two uh, enemy dies versus my one this is it guys oh i managed to win however i lose my tank unit and the only units remaining are generals and the generals guys they can't fight on their own so that basically means i've lost and even if that doesn't mean i've lost because i have soviet infiltration that's gonna put another marker okay i rolled a seven uh, but that would have put another marker uh, and and there's snipers and stuff so i can't win either way so that actually means i've lost so playing this game like it should be played i've actually lost the game which is quite ironic but again thank you dog ui preacher for pointing that out i think this game is so much more fun when played uh, like it should be and then you could introduce some of those optional rules if you want to make it even harder again i want to say i love this game it's a great game grab it if you can perfect travel game and this is definitely gonna go to some cool places with me uh, and again all you need are a few dice to bring you could even just bring one if you uh, want to be rolling a lot otherwise bring like that two red one three black ones or whatever color doesn't really matter okay guys uh, check out the description where you can get the game as always thank you for watching see you next time